Hi everyone, so here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about Laravel 8 Jet Stream. So here we have already, you can check here, we have the Jet Stream here and uh, so these are the documentations which is provided by the Jet Stream. So you don't need to write a lot of code for the login registration process. So here we have the amazing features which is provided by Laravel 8. So now what we need to do? here so first of all you need to install laravel 8 version so how you can install even i will explain you step by step and once you ha you have installed in your system laravel 8 then you need to uh, you need to run your system laravel jet stream so here are the some command you can follow some step uh, using terminal okay so now we have this uh, basically a dashboard now I'm going to show you some functionality which is provided the jet stream. You can check here. We have the profile information. If you want to update these uh, pictures and username and email ID, you can just update and click on save button. Here we have the uh, update password something. Change your password, current password something you can change. Also here the two uh, factor authentications also is there. Suppose if you're going to click on enable so you just check it so you can use the google authenticator or microsoft authenticator like this one so you can log in from there also so we have uh, also if you want to delete and you can check which browser i am right now using like uh, the look we have the os x and chrome okay so now i am going to here and if you want to change these pictures you can change how you can change just click on here uh, sorry same picture I have selected so I am going to select this different one look we have the different pictures and just click on save button look we have changed pictures here and here also both pictures now updated let me open this picture and let me open this picture basically. look this is coming from the base 64 something okay so now we have this URL so where this picture is coming and how uh, we can do that I will explain you everything so first of all we have already installed a Laravel 8 so I am going to delete first of all my database uh, leave it database and I am going to create next one Laravel 8 jet so I am going to apply here we have the database right now only okay Laravel jet let me check we have the database which is laravel 8 jet so now we need to install laravel 8 so how we can install laravel 8 we have the some command here so first of all you need to install composer okay so once composer install your machine then you need to write some command so i am going to using composer only here so here we have already installed it so i am going to back one folder or here I am going to remove this one which is I, ho I have already blocked so yes the block files already deleted now I am going to use this command basically so you can use composer create project this command basically so I am going to type here uh, let me check we have the blog again I don't know why this is not deleted so uh, now is fine so this uh, process will take little bit time so uh, also leave it now here once you install this uh, basically laravel project then you can check laravel working or not something so then you need to write here php artisan serve so once you run this this particular command then what you need to do uh, once particular this command you run you need to install um, if you want to application directory submission so you can put here also some kind of activities we have already done that before so now after that once laravel installed you need to write this command also uh, composer require laravel is jet stream so because this package we need to install okay so once this package is installed then you need to write here php artisan jet stream uh, live wire if you're going to uh, work with live wire then you can run this one if you want to in area then you can install this one and after this uh, both command you run this command 
npm install and run dev and php artisan migrate okay so now hope so this is already done then we have the laravel 8 version now what we need to do here we have uh, some basically laravel at at the rate one we have laravel 8 jet we have created uh, database okay so hope so how you know so we have the configure database also using this technique now i am going to run let me close that project basically uh, yes i am going to close this one here i am going to run php sorry php partition sir mm, let me go inside of the project yes i'm going to remove again i'm going to remove yes laravel 8 is working fine so let me check working or not yes we have successfully installed the laravel 8 version now what we need to do here we need to install this package which is laravel jet string so let me open the second tab yes so now this command also running which is a uh, for the jet stream composer something okay So once we have installed the successfully command using this one, we have installed the uh, jet stream. Now we need to install this package basically. We have the two one is live wire and second one is interior. So this command we need to install also. Let this finish this command first. Yes, this is also taking a little bit time. So uh, once this is installed then we will start different work yes now this is also done now what we need to do here I'm going to run this one command also once this will also install then I, I we need to install npm install and npm so this here we have the two command basically so we can run both command at the same time so let me do that yes this is done now we are running npm install and npm run dev so first of all you finish this command then we need to run php artisan migrate So now this is done now we need to do here let me open this particular one php artisan migrate yes migration also done so let me open the again this one i am going to dashboard yes we get the form basically so now i'm going to click on the register i am going to click name my siddharth at the rate gmail.com sorry 
password is admin1818 click on register so we are inside of the register right now inside of the dashboard basically so now if you want to change something suppose if you want to change your URL so you should let me show you first suppose I am going to change this picture but this picture is not coming here and refresh this page here also then we should write here as a URL this one now check Mm, might be some issues there app URL yes this is fine might be let me check this one put this one on. yes we can write also this command let me run this one again I'm going to remove this one yes uh, I was forget something we need to write this command also look here I have written PHP artisan storage link so that's why we can uh, upload here basically we are storing particular this connect uh, folder which is public storage inside the public photos we have this photo basically yes so we can do that okay so we can change the password and something if you want to change name also you can change like this one Siddhar Sukla okay so now this is done you can check we am going to refresh this page yes this is fine now if you want to create a team something if you want to create a uh, change the team and something team member ID password something you can perform like this one if you want to change make a team something like developer team so just put here developer and once you click on the developer you can also check the team which is we have the developer let me open the team yes check we have the developer team here okay so we can uh, put the name like this one so hope so this is clear and uh, you can check uh, this link both link in description area and if you have any doubt related to this video please let me know so i will create another video thank you for watching this video